a celebration of athletics in a country largely defined by track and field. The final two days of the IAAF World Under-18 Championships were characterized by a full stadium. Kenya delivered the largest attendance in the history of the competition. And Kenyan athletes had made a huge mark on our global sport. But to have a World Championships here is very important. Uh, and it signifies the continued commitment that Kenya has for our sport. Off the track, the championships have been a chance for Kenya to boost tourism. Of course, you know, Kenya is definitely getting a very uh, uh, high brand visibility. Social media plays an important part in the lives of youth and Kenya will be banking on the 800 athletes who competed here to not only build their sports and tourism sector but also the country's brand online. We also have to make sure that we adopt you know, best practices when it comes to digital communication. Our flagship uh, tourism products are safari and beach in that order. But we do have other products that are very important for Kenya. Our elite athletes uh, uh, do so well, you know, they, they definitely you know, make us proud around the world. And for us, you know, we want to make our athletes, our elite athletes, our brand ambassadors. 2017 is an election year and this often influences the flow of tourists in the country. You know, 2015 versus, you know, 2016, we saw a growth of 17% in terms of international arrivals. Uh, the U.S. and the U.K. remain very important markets for us. You know, the election is coming up. Uh, we are not making it part of our narrative. You know, I think our last election, uh, which is what we must measure our elections against in 2013, was a very peaceful election. Recent infrastructural investments like the Standard Gauge Railway is expected to boost tourism domestically as well. So the introduction of an experiential journey that takes four and a half hours, a speed train, and as soon as they introduce the train that stops over will be great because there is so much more that's available around the country. So this will actually help the county products that are outside of, of these areas that have our flagship products to open up. The country is also investing in sports infrastructure ahead of hosting the African Nations Championship in early 2018, a competition it hopes will further grow Kenya's tourism brand within the continent. Celestine Karone, CGTN, at the Kasarani Stadium in Nairobi.